All right. So, if you follow the channel at all, and if you recall, last year a company called New Air sent me a 240 volt heater and I installed it in the shed. Link up above. And we had to put a 30 amp breaker in and everything and all that other good stuff. Well, uh, they came out with a new portable 120 volt heater and uh, they sent it on over, wanted to see what I thought. And so uh, if this heater works out for us, there will be a link down below and a special uh, discount code to plug in for a special discount just for you guys. So let's just, let's just get into it. Let's just rip into this box. I just, I love doing that. It feels so good. So this is a, a, a portable heater. So this is not meant to heat like an entire garage. It's just meant to heat your kind of personal space. But up to 170 square feet. This shed is only 120 square feet, so it really should be able to handle the shed no problem. There's styrofoam in here, so uh, earmuffs. Instruction manual. And a nice, thick, heavy duty cord. <laughs> and the beauty about this is that I don't have to look for a special uh, 240 volt outlet, just go into a regular outlet. Initial thoughts, it's a very clean, slick design. Very light. I think it's only about, supposed to be about nine pounds. Good and solid base. Nice tilt, I like it. Got a on off for our fan. We got a temperature dial. Let's uh, let's turn it on, see how it sounds. It's nice and quiet, I like that. Okay, it's got a setting if you just want the fan or if you want the fan and heat. Now today is not a great day to test out how fast this will heat up the area because it's actually like 70 degrees right now. I probably don't even need this hoodie, but it heats up very fast. I can already feel some heat on this. It's also got a safety feature. So if it gets too hot, it goes ahead and shuts itself off. But I know some heaters, they also shut themselves off uh, if it takes a tumble or I just don't know how to test something like that out. Yeah. Let's see if it still works. Full disclosure, it's not meant to take that kind of abuse, so. Still works. The, uh, the fun part is that uh, in order to get that take just right, I had to drop it like five times and uh, it still works, so <laughs> not bad. Doesn't seem like it has the safety shut off or if it falls or it tilts. But uh, just don't go throwing around your portable heater. Anyway, so I'm gonna spend a couple of weeks with this and uh, see what I think and then we'll go from there. I hate long cords. I don't really have to work on my truck right now, but it's a lot colder out today. And uh, if you own an older vehicle, you can bet your ass that you're gonna have to work on it in the dead of winter or when it's nice and cold out. And your cold hands just love the feel of cold tools and smashing your hands on cold frames. So this is more of a simulation. <laughs> I mean, We'll take off a few bolts. What could it hurt? Now, again, it's it's probably not meant to heat uh, an outdoor space like this, but what I'm already liking already is the it's keeping my personal space nice and toasty, and I can warm my hands up every once in a while right here. Maisie, what are you doing? 
What are you doing under here? What do you want? Are you gonna help daddy out? <laughs> Maisie. You know what else is cool? This has been running for at least 30, 40 minutes. I can touch this wherever I want and I'm not burning myself. Well, after spending a little bit of time with this, uh, I really don't have anything bad to say about it. Uh, this is a great unit. It's light, it's nimble, it's durable, it's easy to use. It puts off some great heat. In the past couple weeks, I used it in several different scenarios, uh, several different temperatures, and I was able to work in the shed comfortably and not have to have a jacket on. It was, it was pretty great. With all that being said, um, I really don't need one of these. So I like to do giveaways on this channel. So let's run the giveaway for two weeks and we'll have a winner and I'll send it on out to you. But if you're interested in buying one of these, there's an affiliate link down below. Uh, full disclosure, I do get a little kickback, but if you use the discount code Michael, you're gonna get a 10% discount. You know, not too long ago, if you would have dropped that name, you would have got kicked out of the building. So enter down below for the giveaway and I will see you guys in the next video.